and welcome for another tiny edition of the, uh, or maybe not so tiny edition, of the Cloud Talk Show. Hey, Larry, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, doing great. Yeah, so we're doing, um, we're doing I, the Skype thing again. So, oh, look, hello. Thank we you. Are. I, I was going to say, I see I see that you have the pricing calculator, and, and you just... Um, yeah, did you see hello in the corner? Uh, yes, I just saw that just now. It's like it's, it's like see, over it's, here. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a little spoiler thing. <laughs> we, we we just ruined it for everybody. They couldn't find it. But <laughs> <laughs> so this pricing calculator, calculators are cool. I'm glad they had hello up there instead of something. You know, there are other words you can. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's um, true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> now here's the thing. This is why we're talking about this. We 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 just ran into the issue where like it's and it's like the first time. This has been around for a while now. Almost from the very get go, they created this calculator. I mean, the the website has might have changed. The pictures might be look cooler. The icons are like woo, you know, cooler and everything else. And the people who made the originals are in the Bahamas right now. But all right, it keeps coming back and saying, "Hey, how much is right. this going to cost?" Oh, we can't figure it out. Oh, we can't put this together. It's like, wait, so wait a minute. This is not hard. This is not rocket science. Or wait a minute, Larry, is it rocket science? It, it's it shouldn't be. Oh, okay. But 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 I want I want to I want to expose something and make it. I, I want to make I want to show you something with the calculator yes. that that might make your eyes bulge. Oh, okay. Um. So so let's go and um. We're gonna do. Just a for instance, okay. Okay. Let's pretend like we had a um, a Docker okay instance, a Docker container. So that's okay. a little virtual machine. So yes. click on virtual machine there. Oh, get it. Virtual machine. Top left. Top on the left hand side. So right over here, right? Oh, there. No, it is. The very yeah, first thing. Is. The very first thing. Yep. Okay. And now roll down a little bit. It's been added. Okay. So you can scroll down and see it. Oh, now let our me virtual machine. my page here so we can see it all. Oh yeah. Okay. There oh, we go. Beauty. Beauty. So um, we can put our operating system as Linux, right? Because Docker is sure. Linux. There we go. Yeah. We're gonna we're, pretend like we're gonna put .NET Core on it or uh, something like uh, that. All right. Where do we Where do we say that? So, so the it's it's just Ubuntu. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, now the problem is we're using a D1. Uh -huh. So a D1 is okay, but a D1 is more expensive than one of the Bs. So we talked about the Bs, I think, before, but the B are for burst. And burst. normally if you're doing some – yeah, so find a B, the little smallest B okay, that you can B. find. Okay, the 1S, I suppose, would be the smallest Yeah, B. B1S. All right. And so, see, that's only $0.14 cents an hour. That's beautiful. Oh. So Wait, no, it's not mode, $0.14 cents an hour. It's – one point oh, four cents an hour. One one fourteen cents an hour is actually expensive. So wait a minute, oh. <laughs> it's a penny and a half an hour, just under. Okay. Just under a penny and a half an hour. Okay, right. so so, but burst means that you can you can use more than that resources for short periods of time. But the idea is that mainly it's setting idle. Okay. Okay, that's the idea. So let's you know we we talked about the um, um, slide on up. Back up again, if you don't mind, and let's throw a database in there real fast because sure, we, we talked about Postgres um, database. So we don't want to do SQL Server. Let's just click on databases on the left hand side. Uh, databases. We don't want to do Azure. Side. Let's do let's do Postgres. Do it, Top do it, right hand do it, corner do it, now, do it, do it, do it. Azure database for PostgreSQL. Uh, Azure database Top right for MySQL as for Postgres. There we go. There you go. It so added. if you scroll, it added. Yeah, scroll down again, and we can see how much that costs now. Um, the post GRESQL, if you keep sliding down, um, it is yep. Got it. 50, 50 compute units is the least you can have, and we only want one server. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, so you can pick that one? up. So, yeah, make that a one, and All then right. you'll see it's $15. Hmm. So that costs about the same as our, our – if we scroll back up, we can see our burst server was like $10, and our database now is, is $14, $10 uh -huh. to 25 Right. All right, so that's pretty cool, right? Okay. I mean, this this is this is a Docker container with all your little pieces in there and a database to back them up. Right. For twenty five dollars a month. A month. I mean, that's less than a cup of coffee. <laughs> a cup of coffee in New York for sure. Well, yeah, I'm in New York now, right? That's, <laughs> that's less than a cup of coffee. That's right. But that's... but let's let's make it more interesting. Let's, sure. I, I want to. I want to show you the joy that I found. Um, let's go back up, and instead of using Docker, okay. so we're going to take take the Docker off, right? Okay. We can just, and that's the beauty of this. You just click delete, and it's gone. Oh, so I just go over here and just go top trash. right, here. yeah, Achoo. trash can. It's gone. It's gone. Um, go up to oh, the I top. I did here. the whole track. I did them all. I did the whole things. 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll throw the we'll the put it back later. Postgres. Yeah. Po- okay. You can just throw the post GRE database back in there, and, okay. and we'll have it. Yep, he's back. And then let's let's go back up to um, featured again. Okay. And down there in the bottom, in the middle, is functions. Ooh. Yeah, Azure Functions. Ooh. They're so they're so sweet. They're so sexy. Um, let me, let me well, bring this back to up to one, one again, real quick. One server. Yeah. Okay. Be- now, let's see. Look at this. Um, <laughs> the first. Four hundred thousand gigabytes per second of execution, and one million executions are free. Whoa! Just so that you know. Okay. They're they're free. That's feels that's like a lot. Free. It does. It feels like a lot. So let's just pretend. Okay. So um, how long do you think of if I write a function? How long do you think it's going to take? What I mean, worst case scenario. Let's get crazy here. Okay. Let's uh, say that our that it takes ten seconds to execute okay. a function. So it's a function, say that's going to do like a search or something, or a function that's going to have to load, or like maybe do translation yeah. of a document or something. Or, or yeah, or it's a workflow. A workflow. Okay, right? there's a good one. All right. So, so w- ten seconds to run. Yeah. That's, yeah. So okay. right there in the middle, there you can put execution time in seconds to ten. All right. Yep. 10. I can actually type in 10. Yeah. Yep. Now, how many executions do we expect per month? Oh, okay. So, like, um, if this is a workflow, maybe it's like a, a business thing that's going on. Yeah. Maybe it's happening yeah. all over the United States for, like, uh, uh, in, 50, in each 50 states. So. Right. Like, well, let, let's pretend like it, it's our company, right? Okay, yeah. Let's let's say that this is, this is going to send out a notice – um, that you've got to do your your timesheet. Ah, so that's once a week to everybody. <laughs> right, we get those right? right. So it's it's once a week to everybody. Um, and let's let's be generous and give ourselves a thousand, okay. um, a thousand people. Okay. Okay. So that's fifty two times a thousand, or fifty two thousand. Okay. Or well, no, this is execution per month. That would be fifty two thousand per year. Oh, okay, that's true. So uh, per month is just so times four. Just a, just times four, yeah. yeah. So that's four thousand. That's right. Four thousand. Okay. Okay, but we we still haven't. No, we let's let's do it. Let's do it once a day. Oh. Because we still haven't hit our number yet, right? We're still right. at zero dollars. What if huh. it's thirty, 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 thirty thousand, thousand? No, <laughs> we're still okay. at zero dollars. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's make it take a minute. Because you know, let's let's change that ten to sixty. All right, man, we're still hitting. We're still Wait, free. Oh, come on, come on! This can't be real. <laughs> come on, what if it's three hundred thousand? All right, let's let's blow the company up. Three hundred thousand. There we go. Now we got oh, thirty there bucks. We go. There we go. We three hundred thousand. Wow. For a minute each, and it costs you thirty bucks. Oh, jeez, man. So just so okay. like a small company, we were like doing squat. It's uh, like literally we went into like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, uh, like a shop level. You know, it's like uh, the right. local grocery store chain is now doing something. And so right. they'll probably be creating something that could take that much execution time and have to do that many executions in a month. Right. At, pr- approximately. But look at that. that see how that we, uh, we made that uh, – we contrived that number into 30 bucks just by literally – Bringing it up to three hundred thousand executions at a minute for a each. minute each. Yeah. Now, and it's not it's not a minute of dwell time. It's a minute of actual work. So if I were still okay. at ten seconds, it's still at zero. How many? Let me. Let yeah. me let, I'm just going to add here and make this a uh, uh, three million. Three one two three four five uh, six. There we go. There you go. <laughs> but notice, look look how quickly that calculator added. Three hundred thousand, yeah. three million. But you, there, there's an Azure function behind that's doing all the math. Ha ha. Ah. No. <laughs> hey, hey. But, I wonder what that's paying. But check it out, though. Wait a minute. But, a three a request. Three execution count. Forty cents. Over right. here. See that? So this is the so total per month. It, it's only because we're using one hundred and twenty-eight gig megabyte oh, or oh. twenty-eight one hundred and twenty-eight. Is our is the least memory that we can use? Okay, so let's. If I increase my memory now, I can yeah. now I can have some numbers that actually look a little bit better. Right. Right. Oh, I'm back down to my zero. I still yeah, have to. 30, I still 000. have to have uh, that many. 
that many transactions at even at that much memory to make right. money uh, to, uh, to to have to pay money to make it cost right. But see, even then, if you look down there, the execution count is zero. It's still zero. So all you're paying for is the RAM. You're still paying just for the RAM. Oh. And, and what's what's kind of freaky about this? If you think there about it, there we go. It, look at that. Look at that. When I added, when I made it a million times ten, there's sixty cents worth of sixty cents worth of execution time. And we're paying for basically renting the RAM, so that's what we're costing, right. uh, taking us a lot of money. And and why do you need a why do you need that much RAM? I mean, well, yeah, that's a gig of RAM. Idea, that's a lot too much. The idea behind doing these functions, okay? The idea behind doing functions is they're all small, and you you want them to be like little Legos that stick together, mm. and you want them to be in and out fast, atomic. They do one thing and one thing only. Yes. And then they stop. And, um, you know, we we want to look at using them in kind of a saga mode where there's a there's a Microsoft Q, right? right? Uh, or uh, let's let's, let's or tell the folks, when we say saga, we're talking architecture stuffy. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. A pattern, right? A yes. pattern. So that so that the um, your function looks in a queue, picks up a piece of work, does that piece of work, and either puts, pushes the results into a different queue, or if it can't do the work yet, puts the results back in the queue. All right. So Sog they can pick Saga, up multiple later. workflows, each providing compensating actions for every step of the workflow where it can fail. Sagas are not necessarily implemented using workflows, but typical, right. you know, to, and, for and workflows. Well, what we would do is we would use the Saga pattern to implement a workflow. And you know we could we could absolutely use it to implement a workflow that would um, service a SharePoint farm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. I like this one. But, Short answer. Saga is a failure management pattern. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. So so you just make sure that that when once you pick up a message, you do something with it. Right. That makes sense. You know, and and if you've seen a message come back like that the, like the bad penny that just keeps coming back uh -huh. eventually you throw it away mm. that's all the saga pattern is saying mm. make sure that make sure that there is a way out there, there's a way to stop working right that that makes sense right so like otherwise yeah. it'll you'll be spending money for nothing you know it's like it's like all of a sudden leaving the tap if your water running Yes, or leaving lights on. Oh, I follow behind on. my uh, kid. I mean, you know, it's like turn the light off. Come on. Oh boy. But we're using little LED lights, so he's like, "Dad, it's like a penny a day." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm still cheap. Okay, that's right. <laughs> but see, so we looked at we looked at the the uh, the virtual machine for Docker. Right, 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 right. So how many how many instances do you think? I mean, what do you think that would have? That would hold up to. Would it handle three million a month? And that's a month, right? Not a year. Right, exactly. A month. Hmm. That's would it, a, would it handle question. that much? I, I don't know. It really it, it, that well, and that's that's the thing, though. How would you how would you be able to test that? I mean, you could try it out, right? Right. I think that's what we. I think that's what we're going to have to do, Ralph. Right. I think I think we're just going to have to to break down and and spend a little bit of somebody else's money mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah. And and just do a comparison and find out what we could load. My guess is for these numbers, we can probably use our credits to try to try this out. For these yeah. numbers, at least maybe for one month, and then you know. So maybe turn it off. maybe we'll use some of Microsoft's money. Then. Ah, okay. yes, that's right. But so the concept yeah. over here. Well, here's the concept, right? Is now uh, there's no reason why you can't figure this. If you're trying to calculate it, you know, it's like you don't have to commit. To oh, find out true. what it's going to cost, you can firstly you can you can do an estimate. Say, okay, if we go this route, this is the cost. If we go that route, this is the cost. But of course, here's yeah. the important thing, though. We knew what we were looking for. We knew we were looking for this kind of uh, uh, database. We were looking at this kind of we, that. We knew that we, what we were trying to do could work with functions versus, say, a VM. Well, right. actually, that was obvious for us as developers, but that's maybe not so obvious for a business person. Maybe the right. business person's thinking old school, like, "Hey, I need a machine to make something happen." Maybe they don't understand right. it. Hey, you need functions to run to make things happen. Hey, but you those need... functions run in machines. Um, yes, they do. But the question is, do you still need the machine? Because right. you're doing maybe not just the machine. You're doing the function, which needs the machine to do something to help the function happen. Or Did do you we just need this... a function? Have we had this conversation before? I think we talked vu? about. 
Yeah, it's like, <laughs> do you do you buy a car yep. or do you use Lyft? Or, you know, I'm in New York now and I, get <laughs> I in get the on cab. the subway. I, exactly. Yeah. So the idea is get I just want to get somewhere. Now, the, uh, the concept is go. like, what, what are you trying to solve? Are you trying to solve the basic transportation problem or are you just trying to solve getting from here to there? Right. So the problem is a lot of people keep thinking in the old school terms is the way they used to think, which is like, um, I need to solve a problem. And it starts with I need transportation. All right. No, and instead see, of answering the question yeah. uh, right there and then and saying, no, I don't need to know that because that's been answered for me already. They start there and well, they build a car or we, buy a car. We need to have a meeting. Hmm. No, you don't. You need to get answers to a question. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. We. I need to get. I need to. I need a car. Why do you need a car? Well, because I need to drive somewhere. Okay. Why do you need to drive somewhere? Well, because I need to meet with this person. Okay. Why do you need to meet with that person? You know. <laughs> can, like, can you do it over the phone? Can right. you do it via Skype? Right. Exactly. Give me the, what problem are you trying to, to solve? solve? Exactly. To, right. So I need. Stop, I need to physically stop. be here every yeah. day from time to time. Okay. Now you need just a, a method of transportation. Well, now we can follow your options from that mode. But if yes. you're going to tell me. I just need to talk to this person every day at 10 o'clock. All right. So now let me go through your requirements. Do you need to be in person? No. Oh, guess what? We just eliminated go. a whole bunch of things that we would have had to figure it out. That's exactly right. Give us the business problem and let us Thank solve you. it. Don't just bring us in to implement the solution that you've got in your head. Indeed. Because, hey, Azure Functions save you money Every time. This is right. So I think that it's and, – and, and again, it's it's the case of uh, – uh, it, it's it's just simply the case of just thinking it through. I think we we're talking about the reason why we like what the cloud can do is the fact that now we can actually uh, think these through. So in the, in the past, that wasn't really possible. If I wanted to do something like this maybe, maybe 20 years ago, for example, there was just no way right. because there was no infrastructure for me to even have the answer to that question. My, my answer would have been to I have to create this infrastructure if I want that to happen, right? I need this function to happen. Well, uh, how are you going to get it from there to there? Uh, you got nothing. Uh, maybe AOL. Maybe I can use the AOL machines. Okay, you better talk to the AOL guys. They Maybe they might make a deal with you. You know, maybe yeah. AOL would still be around if someone said, hey, you got some servers that are sitting around not doing nothing when people are not chatting each other. How about you use that to share your resources and do stuff? See, and and you're 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 right on the point too because you're you're gonna have to buy a machine. You're gonna have to call a Dell or somebody like that and, right. and get them to deliver a physical machine to you. And when you're buying that machine, do you do you how do you size it? How do you determine what size it needs to be? Oh my gosh, yeah. So, but I mean, here, uh, yeah, I think that's how it. Amazon. This isn't how Amazon created AWS, right? They said we're yeah. doing this, we're doing it all over. And then somebody said, you know, hey, Amazon, you got all these machines. How about we? piggyback on what you're doing it must have been a vendor yes. somebody came to amazon and said let's do this and said yeah hey, let's let's commoditize this and market it the amazon cloud and then then you're able to buy just what you need right. to you're able to skin that cat down to just the bare bones and get only what you need when you need it mm -hmm. and now, you're not having to buy a machine that you know in three years we're still going to be using the same machine all right you know we the the last car we bought my son's go. 11 now. We bought a bigger car so that he would have room to grow into it because he's going to be a pretty tall kid. Mm. Um, you know, you have to make decisions like that in advance because cars stay around for a long time when you buy a car. Indeed. But, you know, we're, we're going to be living in New York. That car's going away. Yeah, we're not going to have a car. Go. There you go. Carlos. <laughs> Enterprise is going to be my new best friend when I need to leave town. There I just go rent a car. There you go. Enterprise Zip, those you know the services that give you what just what you need Avis, when you need it. Yeah, right. They exactly. got they got those over here too. And it's like a friend of mine working for uh, doing for the church now. The church used to have to like uh, have a little bit of a fleet of a vehicle just a to get vans, people around yeah. or a van. Well, they don't yeah. need that now. They now they're actually just using Zipcar for that, and mm -hmm. they only pay what they need to pay. And in fact, because because they're a charity organization, they get some bennies from that as well. But that you see the concept over here. The concept is you solve the core problem by using essentially what is now commoditized. 
A uh, AWS is commoditized Amazon's uh, 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 infrastructure. Uh, Mike, uh, the whole Azure thing is Microsoft's uh, uh, online structure commoditized. Uh, who mm -hmm. else out there? I mean, I mean, Google is was huge enough. They must have had that was natural for Google to walk into. I think right. maybe this was the idea. Allison was thinking back in the day, the so-called network PCs. This sort of was the idea, but he couldn't quite bring the last piece of it, which is like to say, why do you want to be here doing this? When a lot of people are saying, why would I want to like have my machines running off the network from you? You know, uh, what are you giving me that I can't do for myself? Everyone was like, I can do it for myself, and I feel more secure doing it for myself. All right, mm -hmm. that he could that part could not be answered. Maybe he has recently, but back in that day, it was a hard one to answer, and everyone didn't see it. Even Microsoft sort of tried to go there with BPOS and everything else, but yes, and they didn't quite get there at all either. They couldn't quite convince people that. You know, this is where you want to be, but I think it took an Amazon to make it happen. We've been there before, though, right? VT one hundreds. Oh, there we Come go. Come on, I mean, we've been there, client server. Oh, that's right. Know. So what I want to do, though, and and the and BBS is from the, the BBS is oh, from yeah. good old Wildcat, copy server and everything else. Remember those? We, in fact, we used to like borrow other people's infrastructure to be part of them to do our yes. own BBSC type stuff. That was, I, you're right. That's the precursor to a lot of this. And and so we're we're coming all back around to this, mm -hmm. but um, there there's the guy that did the the video on um, and and has done an article rather on um, playing video games in the cloud mm -hmm. on an Azure machine, right. and I've really got to I've got to walk through that. Oh I oh I sent I you that that's the one I sent you. The guy yes. who did that one? Yeah, I sent you that one, right? That was a cool. The whole idea yes. of, like, you know, here it is. I'm going to, like, instead of buying my own, like, home machine that does it all, I'm going to do it from the cloud. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it from the cloud. I, all I've got to do is have a fast pipe mm -hmm. and VPN and the screen. You know, he's getting, like, 60, 70 frames a second yep. through the wire. That's just crazy. How about it? got to do it yeah. yeah yeah so maybe we'll talk about later on things like the cognitive services and all that stuff these are all oh, yeah. very cool things they they had a demo on that in the sig today but we'll we'll talk about that but anyways i think that's enough for the uh, for the current session today's uh, topic was the pricing calculator our presenters price were price. me and, and and larry thank you larry yes thank and, you um, dum 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 dum. Just trying to figure out if there's anything else we can follow up on. We can probably have a follow up uh, on this online. We have more. We have more and more topics. We're trying to like uh, get a whole bunch of these together. Uh, in case you're catching this either in the beginning or towards the end, whatever, uh, there should be a whole bunch of these that are now going to be coming out this year. Uh, and uh, Larry, we'll think about the next topic, and we're going to catch bro. you next time. Thanks, right? sir. All right, going three, two, one, and out. See you later. Bye. Bye.